and so on. So we are more, we always grow up and and then learn these competitive. We know how to deal with competitive and and being marketable and what have you. And and you know, no, normally I hang out with the with the scientists and and the artists types more like you. <laughs> That, that I always thought that, you know, that the sciences are all about collaboration and artists are all about, you know, just this creative flow. I thought it's normal, but I also now realize artists too have collaboration problems or, <laughs> or, or people where, where you think uh, they, they know that creativity, you know, needs this, this, this soil, the exchanges and so on, that, that they would be more open. But I've come across now in many different, not many, but in, in different um, contexts and also in different groups or DAOs. I'm starting to see it more and more. Number one, we fall back to what we know, as always. Uh, and if we don't know how to collaborate, then we fall back to number one, oh, this is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, or tell me what to do, or uh, let me take the lead, or I'll, let me say what everyone else should be doing, because else I don't know how we could go about it. Yeah, that's that's cool that you. I appreciate that you noticed that, and that it brings up a couple things. It brings up just being around a lot of animators and storyboarders who believe in the in the idea of like kill your darlings and don't be attached to a story point or a drawing or a character just be willing to cut anything if that's the nature of of the thing that's developing and knowing that like it's always a work in progress and erasing or deleting is part of that process sometimes you have to overextend and figure out that there's not, that's not where you want to go and then you pull back and you can find a new direction but i just also want to say like this whole um, research, but but in Imaginarium, for example, you are very collaborative, no? Yeah, um, we're we're pretty. We try to be open for to create um, environments in which um, collaboration can happen. It's like you know um, the right atmosphere and the right chemistry for um, something to emerge. And and then um, like capturing uh, lightning in a bottle, um, in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, it's 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 a different way of of uh, working, collaborating. And I see it's not about leadership, but like this, literally someone seeing how things are coming together, maybe or how things can come together or just you know feeling feeling it, the need to put it together <laughs> and that's when you hi hi streamer d that's when hey, uh, i'm mm -hmm. thinking the same way i was just saying yeah yeah like mm -hmm. actually yeah. uh i had some good developments in the development side of things like making use of really blockchain right now uh, in the couple of weeks really uh, and like full stacked up I feel really confident really like since and all these projects for me I would say like getting that uh, some common libraries available you know like with its UI component say you can just grab that and then you know change it and your system can work maybe i can show you if you want yeah yeah like, like the you you mean like you you're uh, you're seeing the infrastructure uh, and libraries that we can use to make the the yeah. nfts or or complete something else yeah, we can. Sounds perfect. So, yay! <laughs> Number one, because, perfect. Because <laughs> what we making... need is there, like, hey, uh, someone connects with the wallet and then does some complex actions, you know. Actually, these are a bit complex because we are checking multiple stuff. 
there is also a version I tried but getting some errors like with this card connection you know if you want to make use of rolls and rolls can come from this card side but doesn't matter at the end we welcome people and if they are not connected they connect you can think of like basic infrastructure and it can go multiple wallets and and then with that wallet you got you start some you know some scenario it could be holding of one nft it could be different you know in the next page but also i want to show you on the site it's like i was trying that app crypto flowers 3d scene it's just a playing around we can now put a 3d item and when it's clicked it can go to another wow. uh, page or object i mean I it, can they can it. be all all like in the same place too like for example in this one when we interact here i'm not changing left part all is happening on the right side it's also problematic for me at some point uh, but for example that kind of things also possible like of course then you go like say mint some you know what well, nft yeah, we just load it yeah, sometimes testnet is you know being problematic but you can see here when this is done we got a notification here it can be like success of something maybe they get some message here and then this button is also changed like now it's again mint but i change it to mint another so it's also a level of complexity we are also keeping track of hey did they just minted something you know we can say something about it like we know that state so like you can do with that state you can make something like this or you make mm -hmm. some changes here that notification badge is actually uh, what's happening because like whenever this it's success when yeah. it does something then it is cool. yeah but just one question just for me to, to uh, understand a bit better like the 3D object, yeah, that you're showing, yeah. that could be, it is another app. Yeah. Okay. And and just the question, like uh, I'm just asking, do you see the mm. these these NFTs, these self-discovery NFTs, these mandalas being th those shapes in 3D, or, or is this now something else that you have in mind? Well, I'm i'm open for stuff you know like but i got your uh, question a little bit like hey how can we maybe uh make like library plus some you know minting experience like reward parts yeah 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 no i see that we could definitely do something with it i just want to uh, understand or get all the info that you have in your mind <laughs> uh, and if i understand it right and also satori yeah Please go ahead. Experience like after launch part. This could be also some uh, library items here or reading and then interacting with wallets, some, you know, those items. Not necessarily, but uh, so I gotta know like which parts inter gonna interact with, you know, mm -hmm. like signature, gonna make mm -hmm. NFTs or very roughly, then I can put things out. Like if you want some page, with some, you know, 3D items in them, we can put there and maybe like, you know, like you see like this, like change of, I don't know, it's not, it's right now changing by click, but it could be something else. We can, gotcha, so these gotcha. are really basic stuff and mm -hmm. can be deployed like different apps and yeah. communicate each other yeah 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 um the last time me and streamer d were um talking we were talking about that and um 
you know, putting um, the the um, dynamic energy budget symbol within um, the the vortex or the the funnel, and then like creating these types of like rabbit holes and um, yeah, yeah, putting them in there um, and and um, showing um, the cycles and the seasons that we've been talking about. And um, even putting like the compass in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the seasons, cycles. If if it would um, let if it would uh, apply this on the domain of the token entry and conceals library, from the experience of a curator but also especially i think from a learner it could be you come in and the first season uh, is to to take a stroll through right and then um those actions that uh, stream of these shows could be when you make connections and when you have those insights right that's where, where you were getting at and you have those insights you you make those connections and you mint basically an insight NFT, not only does that um, encode the information that gave you the insight, uh, but also it's, it's like a landmark for other people to, to connect to maybe. Um, so it could be people, uh, yeah, literally placing a uh, position like a GPS of pins, <laughs> right? Uh, that they, um, yeah, more or less. And then for a curator, for example, if, if uh, we have this functionality while I am adding a curation, right? And I can, I could then say, okay, add curation and then see the mandala that it creates, my curation. And then I can say mint, right? Is, is that the logic kind of streamer D and, and Satori? Maybe Satori can, you know, exp uh, know more. Yeah, it's um what I refer to as the mandala spores, and like they create this kind of like constellation of like where your interest and your curiosity is, and I think it's interesting to see how um it could, could match up and um, um collaborate and. Um, build over time and then you see these relationships between like your interests and the, the different um, um contact points within that and um yeah 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 and and, and what happens and like that happens actually all the time and I think that's why people almost get addicted to these rabbit holes of crypto <laughs> that that you that you get these connections all of a sudden because someone shared with you coming from an entirely different background and shared with you a resource that you hear a concept or even if it's coming from a transdisciplinary piece like cybernetics it's even more mind-blowing and it maps to uh, but you have never heard it. <laughs> you have never heard about it, but it makes so much sense. And all of a sudden you can connect it to your background. And it's like this portal through the flower. That's how I say like it connects that. Imagine that curation comes from, or multiple creations come from different backgrounds. And I can connect it to either what I created or just by re reading on and learning about this, I have an aha moment and add an annotation like, Oh my God, <laughs> you know, this, uh, this, uh, I, I come from computer science and, uh, you know, we didn't have this concept, but it's actually exactly uh, what we've been trying to, to make sense of uh, and so on. And by just adding that personal annotation, what these creations made with my mind, uh, again, that would be something worth minting. And plus, again, that would be something worth discovering as well like someone actually as a learner making connecting various curations or connecting a curation to an aha moment 
uh, that that triggered and that can of course trigger other <laughs> other learners and vice versa i think for the curators it's also quite interesting to see that people have these aha moments <laughs> when they work or when they when they read through your curations and so on and it becomes less of a hey let's create a discussion thread kind of it's more as you say more of these miscellaneous <laughs> connections that, that people or, or that people weave right it's quite interesting i, I love it no? I, I mean i hope um I'm understanding it right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that my my serial network. Um, that, that's why I wanted to start with um, the spore mandala, you know, um, and and the stuff that um, I did with within the vacuum, and um, you know, here's this here's the original ones that I sent him. Um, um, the, these are in the Valley of Novelty, which I think will be a nice curation, um, explaining the process and the idea and the progress of this. And then these become these spore mandalas representing, you know, like these beads in, in the thread of the crypto economic flower. And I, I just think, um, these things are so cool. Um. And you know, it's trying to contain it here, um, and it's just fascinating. Um, I'm building off of this, and then, you know, of course, going in into um, what happens with the crypto economic flower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and and these mandalas, I don't know, streamer, do you, what what you have, but um, and I don't know if they if they are also dynamic when when uh when within the vacuum creates them or so, but I can literally see there <laughs> that that they are moving to the beat, <laughs> like the the frequency that they represent, right? So. Uh, by the way, um, maybe we can start with 2D. I just maybe um, yeah, feel yeah. like it's better for um, 3D representations of generating of uh, NFT artwork themselves as 3D. Because uh, 3D scenes in general, um, I want to say this, like in all that metaverse uh, discussions around, you know, whenever I really uh, spend more than five, 10 minutes, in a WebGL enabled browser, you know, like lots of them like that. Uh, cannot say all games are like that or like not non-browser stuff, but um, we got that on, uh, it's like uh, a bit uh, too much for uh, many and like reduce accessibility I could uh, claim. Um, yeah, but that's right. Then that's 2D right. plus 3D versions, we can go like start with something like some images like this in 2D. Yeah. Uh, 3JS especially is like that on WebGR. But processing is really cool. Like canvas, you can imagine like animation. But like in, um, I could say, yeah. We can keep mm. 3JS for generating uh, uh, artworks. Processing as well, they would all do. Yeah. But like browser, I would say uh, 3JS sometimes can be too much. And when like uh, it's dependent on a uh, network, but we can do it. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. maybe like and and also i see it always from like the um um what can we show at at each point right when we say okay now this is coming together what is the simplest way to show what we envision i mean i think every one of us have it in their in their minds like but how can we put it together so that people can interact 
Uh, yeah. that that would be the most important part at this stage and then as you say like uh, there could be versions of it and there could be evolution of it for sure um as long and and the the thing is as soon as we have a first interactable uh prototype um and i, I i'm amazed <laughs> like how how you put things together and i don't know do have you worked together before as well Satori and, and Streamer D? <clears throat> um, no. Um, I just met him when he showed up on the performative um, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, I mean, the way uh, you use them, it's no. like you've been working together forever. That's, <laughs> that's how, it, how it looks like to me from, from outside. It's wonderful to see such uh, these, these things. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, they all actually come at the end, uh, that is like uh, creating this good space around uh, thinking something new and like new experiences defining. I would say we can really go for using like minimum, like, from each stuff, like, hey, uh, something generates artwork there, something uh, library, like you can interact with uh, in the browser, or at some points you can also interact with um, blockchain. I was always thinking about colors, like, but like changing their tones in time, or like, also creating like some sounds in different interaction like it could have maybe a sound version or they can be together but how the, could it start you know or i um was gonna ask like how the experience gonna be like someone gonna put like a, a leaf there or they will be always there and change in time they just click in them and then it opens up or a new page. They're, they're like I'm seeing now also like what you're all coming up with or have already came up with. Uh, I would go and, oh. and make make some more time and actually put put these these creations to together or, or just an example creation and to see basically how that would work out right for example we have the curation from zargam and he has created he says in the consilient space he created some numbers saying okay this relates to these uh, uh petals and he has used some key phrases and so on what if uh, and please you know if i'm totally off uh, I'm, I'm just <laughs> uh, with trying to connect uh, from my perspective and that might that is definitely limited <laughs> so what if um you know what if those keywords and and the way and, and the consilience like the petals are clear which petals he curated from or for or or his curation connects to which petals and he used some specific keywords key phrases that that i can highlight uh, and that from that we would definitely have this mandala creation right for for that creation or for that curator or, no actually for that creation of that curator we would have the mandala and and that would then also or oh, question would that not be the the the, the uh, um, artifact that can also have a sound representation yeah, that would be cool, actually. Or, or we can yeah. it can be also like optional, or we can, you know, I don't know, but it could be optional. Like people say, like I want to generate something new. Or how would you uh, describe a curation, like based on its? What should it have? Like, okay, creator. 
and non attributes like matching to those. Oh. Yeah. So have you have you seen one, only one leaf? So well, I'm looking for the curation of them here. Um, and and maybe let's do it as just a test and just a, as a test. Thank you for our first tester kind of thing. Um, let me see whether I can no, share my um, screen. Ima, I couldn't find the roles you, you were mentioning. I was actually gonna ask about it, like how roles play a role in this like start. Then it's not curation part, but then it's more general thing. I was gonna ask that, yes. Can, can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah. So this is just one, uh, or this is one example that we have now, right? Um, oh, here it is. Okay. So basically what he did like this, uh, what, what he did is he took from the template the part that he liked, meaning like these, this is the information I'm comfortable giving or I want to give that, uh, you know, his name, which is unique, uh, then basically the phrase that he had in mind doing this curation. And that's, that's also pretty unique. Then the lenses, uh, these are always uh, connected to him. Right? These are the lenses that he has. Maybe they change over time because he adds uh, some that he didn't have. Uh, but this uh, this we live in a house made of each other and if that sounds strange that's because it is <laughs> uh, that is the quote that he thought of when he was doing this curation so that is unique to this creation oops and the creation he he did was Jane Austen's concept of information uh, with a link the consilient space like this is uh, the, the coordinates in the matrix that that already was just showing, right? Meaning it says it relates six to three, six to two, and two to four. Uh, I need to <laughs> look it's it up. Is this the flower or something? Yeah, like no, this is. is like this is this, this. That matrix, yeah. I remember. Now yeah, we take he the says, number, okay. Yeah. Exactly. He says 6-2, he says a philosophy, law to AI optimization. Uh, let's copy this beauty. Um, well, we have everything in one place, sorry. Uh, ba -ba -ba copy. And let's go back to here. Just so we have it. Um, and then we can do it. Right. So this curation relates to uh, relates philosophy, law, ethics to AI optimization control theory, which is pretty awesome, as well as to computer science and cryptography. And he says also AI optimization and control theory to psychology and decision. Uh, psychology and decision science. So it's a pretty fantastic curation <laughs> right so um and that basically would also connect the the mandalas i guess or change the mandalas for this particular curation uh, i guess right um yeah i don't know like, so, that, can, that can have, so can have like numerous uh, pairs there right it, that list right. can go yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and the thing mm -hmm. is i get i'm thinking <laughs> you know if you start doing this i think people are going to get into okay who who, who connects the most petals <laughs> hey within the vacuum is here <laughs> you, you know we we likely go we'll go into the game of uh which curation is going to connect the most petals or which learner is going to be able to um, find connections <laughs> uh, throughout the most expansive <laughs> curations uh, and stuff like this. If you think about the crypto economics flower and basically, you know, some, someone actually making a game out of it to say, okay, I'm going to read through 
most uh, expensive curations and I'm gonna start finding ways. Literally, my game would be uh, zoning in into the, the middle of it, <laughs> like the deep dark rabbit hole by actually trying to find as many uh, curations that cover most and connect in uh, unconnected ways. That would be my game, for example. Uh, and of course, uh, I, I'm assuming then, like, the, the music is going to be amazing. <laughs> you know, amazing, and, and it's going to create different uh, mandalas and so on and so forth. So that, that that's uh, what what, uh, what all of what you're sharing <laughs> creates in my mind. Hey, yeah, <laughs> everything good. Yeah, I'm just uh, create a new spore mandala for the for uh, M Sargon uh, created from cool. his created from his anecdotal annotation on his curation for wow. the Concilian's lab library. Yeah, and I choose that part because for me it personally is like the most important, right? Like the and anecdotal annotation is like what what he what he he feel <laughs> um um doing it right, right? so <laughs> right. yeah i just decided to, to create one out of it uh -huh. and uh -huh. yeah it's awesome <laughs> oh, cool <laughs> and so and it's going to be a surprise maybe we we'll make a session around it uh, and and uh enlightenment and surprise him uh <laughs> to to that i don't know have you ever met uh, Zargam, or have you ever had um, contact with what he's been doing in the space? No, no, never. I don't no. know him. No. Okay, okay. I, I'll find uh, Zar like Zargam. Yeah. yeah. Artist, you said? Oh no, he he's um. Well, he's a polymath, so that's why it's hard. <laughs> But um, he's definitely a systems engineer, uh, engineering background from robotics. Uh, oh, that was what he studied. But uh, he also studied uh, systems thinking um, and um, systems dynamics. I think he, he was really in, in um, um, he, he learned either from Forrester or, or some descendant. Uh, I, I, never keep track of the names and so on but uh, basically he's the person who brings systems thinking and system dynamics to token engineering where you would get these value flow diagram or you know stock and flow diagrams and that basically help people us to make sense of dynamics you know if you if you look at an excel file everything is static and everything happens at the, the times uh, that we put in those little cells, right? It's very static, and it's uh, and and then people go out and and think reality must conform to their uh, Excel files and and business uh, plans, <laughs> uh, and and literally uh, Zargan brings um, not only the systems thinking, but uh, his company Block Science uh, is also doing uh, systems engineering design. <laughs> and and uh, validation simulations and so on but also token engineering block science and they created an open source framework or a collection of python libraries for doing these uh dynamics simulations it's called cat cat complex adaptive dynamics computer -aided design actually and, I, I started yeah. its first first right, chapter great. <laughs> And then, yeah, but so um, how, how, I mean, because I need those simulations, really, yeah. for a couple yeah. of stuff I'm trying cool. to design or like, cool. you know. Uh, and CatCat really brings the system uh, as well as the agent base. That's, that's the difference, I would say, or that's the uniqueness of it. Um, we also have token spies from Trends, um, who's also one of the... Uh, like a founding figures of token engineering um, 
or, or the one that said, hey, let's call this token engineering and <laughs> get some engineering into this. It's not just guesswork and then flipping a token. Um, yeah, and like this uh, simulations, everything is open source, of course, and and uh, yeah, and they share a lot with the community or they give a lot to the community. Awesome. I was I was also thinking about how can we implement maybe a th three dimensional three dimensionality to the to the mandalas and color and music all in one, you know, like. To create like a it's like a sphere <laughs> made out of of words from from the people who who joined the the project and all of that that could be cool. The, the streamer did just showed uh, that that is totally possible. I don't know if you have seen it before. No, but, no, no, but I haven't. Do Do you want to share again, uh, streamer D? <laughs> yeah, totally. That'd be great. That'd be great. Thank cool. you. Because that's, I think, going to uh, speak to you to totally. Within the vacuum, I have one question. Like, you, you use these algorithms and so on, but you're not a coder, or, or do you code as well? No, I'm not a coder. I'm, 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 I was, uh, I'm a graphic designer, so I was uh, playing around with geometry, and I just mm -hmm. step in with this, like, by... Yeah, you know, like doing that, like following the patterns and uh, studying about geometry and all of that. And yeah, but I'm not a coder. I'm not a coder. This is not good. Do you also see what I'm seeing? Like this. Um, Distorted. Yeah. yeah, it goes like this after a while. Like on my computer, at the least. Like this. I thought it's a feature. <laughs> No, mm. no, I really realized. That. Uh. Is it if that's also on your side like this after a time? Yeah, it's it is. Oh, yeah. cool. And yeah. uh, sorry for that. I think we will figure it out. I mean that. Uh, and he also showed how it actually connects to this framework or libraries uh, that that he's using, where you could literally navigate and at places mint and you have the state uh yeah it, it literally connects to the state of your navigating the library it's something like this <laughs> it's, so, it's so cool <laughs> yeah yeah amazing uh yeah we can make it part of the uh, step right now Oh, it yeah. could be. Uh, I mean, but yeah, yeah, but I, I think maybe uh, also just do do part and then uh, plug them together whenever it's possible. Yeah. Um, but uh, I believe, like already, when we put okay, this is this is one curation. This is this representation. This is going to be the experience. I think we can uh, already show uh, like how it is going to feel different and be different or, or novel uh, and and. Uh, yeah, that definitely comes out, so it's fantastic. Um, like, so like, it starts with curators, right? We will get like, uh, data like that first. Exactly. And, and we can also put our curation. I mean, what I hear is, for example, from within the vacuum, like, oh, the personal annotations. And that's also my, my view. Uh, are the most yeah. uh, unique uh, contribution or information that one adds to, you know, the abstract you can also read somewhere else. Uh, Actually, but the um, I was going to ask who made those designs, like who shot sorts the like. That that was I think Satori who shared the Figma. Yeah, I I, okay. I also think that the personal annotation could be. Could be made handmade, as as like like the ones uh, Satori sent sent me. Wow. That that <laughs> would be great, uh, and also you know a painting or a drawing or whatever. It, <laughs> everything could could be uh, yeah, turned right. into, into into that kind of mandala. Uh, that's so cool. Yeah. No, no, superb. And um, I, I'm, I need to jump out because 
uh, it's getting uh, later here. But I just wanted to ask, now that I have you here, all of you, like, um, the these, these I don't want to say roles, but just to, to show, okay, how are we working together? And do we have also, like, uh, all capabilities uh, that we need to, to pull this off? Or, you know, can we go to design or prototype and then uh, do, do it later. That's why I wanted to ask, or that's why I'm asking, like, do you, are you a coder or what is coming from whom and then can we connect it together? So, Streamer, do you, you are, yeah? yeah please. I would say um, we should have a team, like, and in that team, there should be at least two developers and uh, that will, you know, add up really speed. Yeah. Uh, I can do parts but there are a lot to do like it's a whole library gotcha. you want to do something big here and i really was wondering like maybe we can reach out to all developers in the you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. but the, the thing is like the the farther we can go with okay this is what we have envisioned uh, the the easier will it be to get uh developers on board number one who says hey this is so fantastic i want to develop <laughs> like li literally triggering uh, uh the 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 intrinsic motivation there uh, and that, yeah. that's why i'm like asking okay how far can we go but i'm, I'm thinking like literally a design spec would be already sufficient that we show okay these are the the, the elements that we have envisioned and we know they are doable uh, or feasible, and this is what we know. If we get to that specification, if you will, uh, maybe even some parts that are clickable either in Figma or um, the, with, with what you're showing, Streamer D, um, that we can say, okay, this is how we could put it together. The, the more plastic or the more, uh, yeah, even usable it gets, the, the easier will it be. For, for developers to to come in and and help build it and also the easier will it be to uh, have them also co-create co in a sense like i don't want us to specify out everything especially when uh, you know developers might come in and say okay you you wanted to do it this way but i could do it faster using these tools so we should also have leave that open if you're not married to any uh, technology or uh, and any frameworks or, or libraries but if you yeah. would for example say hey this yeah. is perfect yeah. on the be... other hand uh -huh. also yeah. like a project can always have like even there is one um, like web app and domain it's served you know and except right. it's databases the whole middleware like f could right. be in like in a pool of languages or different stacks, like working uh, only uh, working as like API providers, you know, you talk to them, you don't care like which languages they are written. So like any developer actually using this paradigms here can build their own consilience library. And that's like, you should also think like, hey, when a community grabs this code which is open source like okay we will develop maybe parts and make it right uh, you know like more um also this pro prototyping process i could say like until a new developer comes i could help um i could really um also learn from that in the art side of it and we can prototype and then go like hey now we want to make it like yeah. um, in a different way, like with more technology, like it's not about being dependent of something. It's not about like switching yeah. from one thing to another, but including all of them and mm -hmm. then just give the seamless, uh, you know, experience focusing on yeah. what's going to be and then, and then, and then. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> on on my side, uh, I believe you know, thinking about roles. Uh, I think that uh, I I don't 
I, well, I'm a graphic designer, a musician, and all of that. But <laughs> what I do, I, I was telling the other day to Satori that what I really do is like to explore into the into the abstract realm through mm -hmm. different techniques and bring out new ideas. You know, like uh, mm -hmm. things that doesn't that don't even exist yet, and bring it into a whole new idea, uh, and I, I believe that's I I, I real I'm I feel more comfortable doing that. Is it's, totally. it's what I it's what I do. So totally. yeah, I'm I, I'm very happy. I'm very uh, uh, excited about all the all pro, all the project and and to mm -hmm. see is to see it grow into the community and and that mm -hmm. it could be useful and. Uh, I'm I'm just excited, very happy. So I'm I'm I keep doing what I do, just bring new ideas and and see what what can happen with it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Super cool. No, exactly, and that that's the spirit in a sense. Like, and and I'm I'm just amazed that we're coming together. It's like, I don't know, you cannot plan this. <laughs> so that that that's just amazing, and and. <laughs> Yeah, like this is exactly what what we what we what we are saying. At the same time, I think, and it's temporary also, right? In this constellation now, when we're talking about the mandalas and so on, everyone has picked a piece that they 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 are number one drawn to and interested in, and then have experienced before or explored these, and then want to see how it could be applied here. This is what I see, right? And that kind of, in that moment, uh, determines the locality. But that's just during that constellation of a collaboration, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it also reminds me about an experience I had. Uh, I went like out of body experience and and meet this creature in the in the space and <laughs> it was made like a, it was like a cartoon like made of light and energy and but he never he, he didn't know how how was to be human because he 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 wasn't a human mm -hmm. so <laughs> he asked me about it he asked me like what is to be a human and i was <laughs> like how, how can ex how can i explain this and that triggers this self-observation exercise to be able to describe myself to a creature that doesn't even know how, you know, like what is yeah. to have a body, like this kind of body, right? And and all of that. But and what what took my attention is that this creature has uh, different symbols in the, in his belly. You know, he he changed he changed form all the time. Sometimes he he, uh, you know, uh, like being Garfield, and then he took <laughs> turned itself into another cartoonish uh, thing. And I saw it in myself, and I also had these symbols that represented like the experience I was collecting, you know, in my journey through through the through different worlds and all of that. So I, I'm very amazed that this is kind of that, you know, like this yeah. mandalas is like what knowledge I, I treasure from this experience and I can, I can show it like this is the symbol of that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Super. Super cool. Super cool. Steph yeah. just joined. I just before I, I have to jump off. Hey Steph. How is it going? Uh hello. I've been a bit offline lately. I was no uh... audio. No. Can you hear me? Oh no, I cannot hear him. Okay, then I have to go back and come back in. Sorry. Hello, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Now okay. I can hear you. It's my side. That happens sometimes. Like, 
others can hear one person and another person cannot hear them and they talk over each other <laughs> until someone <laughs> understands what's happening all, all good yeah yeah i've been just a bit like out of the digital realm but i'll slowly get back into it i just had to uh had to do some work in my apartment to uh to build a baby room for tourists so yeah oh. that's what i've been doing a baby room for tourists <laughs> yeah i have to find a way to finance the galleries yeah, yeah. or one of the rooms i'm transforming now also my place so i've been like doing yeah. things you know like to Did you, do you have an idea of how this library could materialize in rescos yeah sorry my uh, internet is very unstable again okay then then i asked uh, the other question which is simpler like uh, you you have been contributing for sure iconically this this background visuals right that the uh, how do you call them matrix uh, dynamic matrix lines um uh, i don't know i call them lns like lines you know <laughs> and, okay. and, like i just built like this thing on the for the wireframes and then those visuals and yeah, yeah. yeah like the github exactly that... okay and, and the github anyways right uh, but that's that's uh, that's clear and the other thing i wanted to ask is you know we've been thinking about or that's also what you have proposed like okay i have this gallery i want to have people interact in real mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. uh, with Web3, but also with, with this whole token engineering space uh, yeah. and the, 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 the research body that you have been or your practice is literally transdisciplinary dot arts, <laughs> right? So do you do you already have a vision how we can, you know, how this library could materialize yeah, in, in Rescos? What I would like to do in the coming months is, okay, Resgoj is this local place. Mm -hmm. Then what I want to see if with uh, when Kernel has the next block, I want to apply with transdisciplinary art. Because that's like the long-term yeah. vision and that would yeah. become a foundation. And then the library, transdisciplinary art, and there I need to build a new website or something. And then Resgoj is just this local place. Uh -huh, so that's uh -huh. a bit how okay. I see the how they can enter. Would you would you like to enter uh, Kernel with this in mind? Yeah, like with, with transdisciplinary this? art, exactly this. But this I need to start writing, and maybe I need some feedback from you of like thinking yeah. about how to write this. But, uh, yeah. I, yeah, just one feedback I have is like literally Kernel. As you know, I'm I, I don't know for everyone of you if you wanna uh, try out Kernel, learn uh, with Andy Tuthope. Uh, he he was the first one who transformed my mind. <laughs> uh, well, Jane, it's re Jane, Jane mentioned last time Satori. Yeah, like no, Kernel, think... and and I also like can share the link or if you're interested, DM me and. and um, uh, I would definitely also uh, speak out the recommendation. And what could be done is actually, you know, you are working in there uh, and you come with, you know, what you have in mind and they look at the, the, the person, like how they feel, the vibes and so on. Uh, but then at the end, uh, the whole process also is in this Web3 building. What are you building and this and that? And the, if you go through that with a concrete project, the, the experience is just better. And of course, if this concrete project is related to Web3 dev, the experience is much smoother. Uh, so that's why I would recommend, if this sounds good to you, literally, that uh, I speak out. Um... Hello? Ah, so sorry. I, I, I'm going to lo log off because everything is falling apart. <laughs> but um, what I would recommend is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Actually, I would recommend take this library um, and, and go through the kernel experience with it because it, um, it's simple. It connects to token engineering, you know, uh, and it connects to all of your projects 
or some of your projects, both it connects for staff, it connects race coach and so on, or transdisciplinary arts. This is what I would try. And Steph, I'm saying um, try, like, the, the issue is if you go through this without building <laughs> a product, it becomes very disorganized. And then you're like, oh, what am I doing here? And everyone's less asking, what is your product? And you're like, oh, very complex. <laughs> but um, I would definitely recommend going through it, no matter how you decide. I always like people collaborating on one project and, and going through it as, as a team. Uh, yeah, uh, really, because it's it's um, when it's lonely, it becomes very disorienting on one side, but it's it is I would still recommend it. <laughs> OK, that's about that. And I would recommend if you're up for it to go through it with the library, because at the end uh, we can uh, literally have have a pitch at the library. People just get uh, understand what it is that is being presented and through the library, again, you can still bring in what you what is important to you with the project and so on. That would be one recommendation, but ab absolutely free. Uh, in any case, I would recommend Kernel, no matter how you want to go through it. And I'm happy to um, recommend any and all of you. <laughs> so, uh, and I can share again. Um, yeah, that, that would be it. Um, Actually, um, I, I really um, got to know like Kernel for one year ago or so, but um, you, first time there was like, mm -hmm. no, like uh, I never got like invitation, not like oh, this okay. right now. It's like since two weeks from different two people. Ah, uh, okay. Like but I was gonna ask like if it's just um um. Our, I don't believe, but uh, we are not limited to just proposing one project together, right? Like, let's say. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm. Yeah, no, no. So. You're free to. Uh, okay. And and uh, yeah, I just said either you have if you have a concrete project, uh, then the experience is very different than Plus. if you That's go through fun. with an idea. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I just missed the last. Five minutes because but of Wi-Fi. Pays off in either then... case. In one case, it is more. It's a bit more disorienting. <laughs> in the other case, I think it's a bit more sorted out because you're going through this. It's like a an accelerator, but it's not an accelerator. It's very very unique experience. I definitely recommend it. And Based on a bit really... like Web3 um, ethos, right? Like as far yeah. as I. Yeah. And it's the first place I met in Web3 <laughs> that is building on, on fundamentals and values. And like for me, it was the first time that uh, to have deep, deep discussion and insights uh, in these group settings about why we're in Web3. And it's also, it's been a, a, an inspiration also for Omega, you know, when we say embodying the wisdom of Web3, I'm like, Kernel is <laughs> the collection of uh, the, the, that wisdom. Uh, but here in this group, uh, or coming here, I believe people are also really interested in, okay, what is the experience? Like, if you have this power, uh, if you have the self-sovereignty, do you need you need to trust <laughs> you know uh, in yourself to to navigate this trustless tech waters and and yeah like how do you see the world and also it's uh the first time i met non-duality <laughs> so that was quite quite interesting um the the whole point is uh, that they say is complementary opposites because in, in Web3, you have this adversarials and so on, but at the same time, you're building a global network. Uh, so you have the individuals, but not everyone for themselves, but as part of a collective, as part of a protocol and so on. So quite interesting. It was all very new to me. And, and you know, the first time, I guess, <laughs> I got my mind blown. <laughs> Uh, uh into that direction and yeah definitely definitely recommend 
Okay. Um, okay, good. But I mean, the, I think the only thing I'm saying is feel free to use the library as a project if you believe uh, it will help. Um, th that's all I'm saying. No. Okay. Good. I, I'm going to log off. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's been great. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.